Fair use, for entertainment or informational purposes only. Fair use, for entertainment or informational purposes only. Respectfully and responsibly share your opinion in the comment section. Please remember we the people respect all communities. Mr. Kwame H. Brown is not endorsing a political party or a political candidate. Hit the cash app. 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 Warning, this video contains moderate yeah. profanity. <coughs> yeah, I'm back. Yeah, now I can eat like I want to eat. <laughs> and not get nothing all up in my beard, having the remnants all up in my beard. Yeah, mm-hmm. I can eat like I want to eat now. Mm-hmm. Don't have to brush no food or no remnants out of my beard. But yeah, I done went and got me a haircut now. You niggas done, you mean niggas. Y'all done woke up a sleeping giant. And I'm gonna tell you right now, you little young cats that's in high school and shit that's running your mouth. And you got a fine mama. See, I can't go as far as I used to be able to go. But uh, don't make me goddamn be cheering at your game, boy. <laughs> Better watch your goddamn mouth and respect your elders, boy. See, ain't nobody tell you little young cats to respect your goddamn elders. But I'll help you respect your elders. You keep running your goddamn mouth and your mama fine. <laughs> I'm going to say, hey. <laughs> Let me stop before I get in trouble. Let me, boy, shut up. Boy, shut up. Anyway, uh, you know, I, I, I just had to, you know, show my hair cut and, uh, it got to be something about me, man. I, you know what? I'm going to apply pressure. I'm going to do exactly what my older brother told me to do. I got to listen to my older brother. I'm tired of dumbing myself down, not getting a haircut, trying to make you lady men, mama boy ass niggas feel better because you got pretty shoes on, nigga. Take them goddamn pretty shoes off and put some boots on the ground, nigga. Nobody give a fuck about no pretty ass shoes. Nigga, I'm wearing boots. Wish I could show you my boots. But you niggas like to watch the background of everything, so... I got you in the background where you can't see a damn thing but see me. <laughs> you pretty shoe wearing nigga. Who told you niggas that's what make a man? Who told you niggas that acting like you perfect? They ain't never lost a fight. They ain't never did shit. That's what make you a man. You niggas sick in the head. Uh, see, you got your marching orders from women. So that's why you think you got to be the best at every goddamn thing. That don't mean shit. I want to see the kid that get his ass whooped and get off the ground and come back and win the next fight. That's how you know you a man. It ain't about being perfect and flawless, you dumb motherfucker. You, you niggas want to be prettier than the women, nigga. That's why I kept my face rough. But now it's time to apply pressure because it got to be something about me that for over a goddamn decade, and I ain't played basketball in how long? It's goddamn 2021, and they still talk about me. Why you motherfuckers want me to think I ain't shit so bad? Why you motherfuckers want to make me feel bad? You want me to think I ain't shit, huh? Well, it's not going to work. This government cheese done fucked up my brain. And uh, all them cheese sandwiches and syrup sandwiches and whatever the hell they fed us at the manor house and all that shit, all that free food they gave us, I think it fucked up my brain because I don't give a fuck what you say. I'm going to start talking back to you and I'm going to start showing you why you shouldn't be running your goddamn mouth, boy. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Cause I can put a, I'm gonna put a red door on my house. I'm, I'm gonna put a red door up for you little bitches. I'm gonna start putting it in your face. Cause I've been humble long enough. I'm gonna put a red door up, bitch. <laughs> uh, since that's what y'all like and that's what y'all wanna see, y'all like to argue all motherfucking day back and forth. I'm gonna put a red door up on your punk ass. And if you got so much time on your hand, you should be focusing on getting you a red door, bitch. You shouldn't be running your goddamn mouth to a grown man and all the people who like me and still have admiration for me this ain't about y'all and, and don't take the language out of context because one thing about it i ain't never been bullied in my life i would rather be the hammer than the nail you tell your son the same thing i'm telling these punks he might can't curse yet but you tell him to shit tell him to tell them punk motherfuckers to shit they goddamn mouth 
The only way you can beat a bully is to look him right in the goddamn eye. Look him right now. Fuck you. That's the only way you can beat a bully. And so a lot of you ladies don't understand how this man shit work. Sometimes it's okay to draw a circle in the yard and let that boy get his rocks off. It's okay. It's not toxic. It's okay. So I'm going to start showing you little niggas how to be men. If you want to talk to me every day, you gonna want to hate on me every day, you're going to have to pay for that shit. I'm going to open up my YouTube channel for you niggas to hate on me. I like it. It's going to cost you to talk to me. And, and if you ain't got no red dough, I'm going to embarrass your ass. If all you got them uh, talking about is the pretty shoes and them tight ass jeans you got on and the women can't find no goddamn clothes because you buying off the shit off the rack as soon as they got them, your mama give you some money. Or as soon as a couple of girls give you their goddamn check and you buying up all the goddamn jeggings and shit. If I catch you buying the goddamn jeggings, I'm going to snatch them motherfuckers and get it from my daughter. Fuck that nigga. These for girls. Punk motherfucker. Get you some boots and put them on the ground, motherfucker. That's what you niggas need. And we got to get some mentoring programs going on because these young men got to learn. I'm okay with what women say. They women. That's cool. Talk that shit, girl. Be bad and beautiful. Girl, talk your shit. You say what you say. But you little niggas that's acting like that. Don't you know, boy, you supposed to mind the business that pay you? You supposed to mind the motherfucking business that pay you. If you running your mouth and you bumping your gum, speaking on another man's pockets or shortcomings or whatever else, Boy, you's a dumb son of a bitch. You's a dumb son of a bitch. Because that ain't what you supposed to be doing, boy. You got shit you could be worried about. You got shit you could be doing. You motherfucker sick. But I'm going to leave y'all with that because I'm going to go get my hair twisted now. I'm going to finish beautifying my goddamn self. <laughs> and then on Thursday, on Thursday, I got a dermatologist appointment. Because I set my goddamn whole face on fire. And God so good that all I got was a little black spot around my eye. And I'm finna go correct that. This is how good God is. My whole face was on fire. And I don't have no deformities. I don't have really nothing but some black marks around my eye. Woo! Fire can't even touch me. I'm so bad. <laughs> no, that's all God, though. That's all God. But uh, I'm going to go rectify that by getting me some little skin cream. And I'm really going to make you niggas mad now. <laughs> I see this now. I like y'all hating ass nigga. I like y'all. I hope y'all like me back because I got some bullshit y'all going to hate on. Y'all have a blessed day. What's up, Nae? But y'all have a blessed day. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I'm not going to say who I was talking to until he give me the okay. But I was talking to a black uh, business owner down in uh, Brunswick. And, you know, a lot of people call me because... You know, they wonder how the hell I get to say what I want to say and move how I move and not really care about what somebody say. And I told them, I said, every time I took the time to care about what somebody say and, and get angry, it ended up costing me some money. So now you just tell them, fuck you with a smile. Just fuck you, boy. <laughs> and I told them, you can't let somebody knock you off your square. That's all they trying to do. And when you make some money and you black, uh, we try to pretend this Wakanda shit, but what most niggas say behind closed doors is, man, that nigga got money already. I ain't going over there and fuck with that nigga and get that nigga some more money. That's how we really talk. So when I talk to you motherfuckers, I know you. You could do all that Wakanda shit on TV, because if it was Wakanda, nigga, it's, it's Black History Month. You ain't even supposed to be fucking with no nigga today. You ain't supposed to be fucking with a nigga all month long. At least give us 30 days, 28, uh, 9 days, nigga. Shit, what is it, 28 days in February? Short as fuck, but can you at least give a nigga 20-something days to shut your goddamn mouth? But nah, you can't do that. So, like I was telling him, man, you can't worry about no niggas. Pour into these children. Pour into these women that's raising these children and get them to understand these kids gonna need some help to uh, fight and get out of this situation. So pour into the women and the children. Let them niggas talk. Fuck them niggas, you know? And I think he learned something from that conversation. And I hope he go and execute what he said he was going to do because it'll be a beautiful thing. Niggas going to hate, you know. That's what's going to happen. The moment you have more than a nigga, they going to hate. And I don't know what white people do because I'm not in that culture, but I know niggas. <laughs> I grew up right in the mix of you niggas, so I know you. So all that Wakanda shit, all that tough talking shit, well, how come you ain't build Wakanda in real life then? How come instead of fucking with niggas all day. How come you ain't going to try to put some money together with some niggas? Yeah, I thought so. 
So, my nigga, you just keep going, keep pushing, and invest your money in these kids and these women that's on the right path. Fuck them niggas. Not all niggas, them hating ass niggas. So, although I love all y'all, I got to go. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you hit the L-I-K-E like button if you have not already done so. I love you to the moon and back. <laughs> Haters. <laughs>